hey guys welcome back so guys in this video we are going to continue about how to design the website using bootstrap crash course we are we are doing continuing with it okay so guys now we are at the our latest projects and the interior icons okay so we have completed this design so guys now what we are going to do the google map things okay so that is like um the other template designed over here we are going to integrate the google map of the your website address and the one simple form okay so guys uh, i am showing you this over here after this our projects we are going to get in touch so we will show the uh, map and the form right so guys let's get started with it so our website till now we have completed our latest projects reset and now we are going to continue with the get in touch one so guys let's get back to our back coding and this is the last one which we have given with the our latest projects so we can copy this design okay for the heading purpose and then we can utilize it so let's set the section guys first so section section then container then you can call the row so after row you can set the column so column will be 12 so inside 12 inch column i'm going to set the heading so i just need the same design so i'm just copying it and pasting the design over here okay so if you don't understand the section title please watch out from the starting of this crash course website designing so guys let's set here get in get in tvouch touch okay A row ends over here so guys now i'm going to start one new row okay small row 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 inside this row i'm going to make two columns okay mm, one column call md12 so inside this i'm going to paste one card done so inside this card we are going to design two columns okay now so before that we will see the output how it is let's get back control r so let us see get in touch okay so there is a light border slight so let's make this in center so what we can do is that we will call text center text line center in column and we will give one paragraph after this so p tag get in touch with funda of web it interior designer for latest updates okay whatever save this and let's see the design for this now so card and uh, control r so it's in center so now what we have to do is that let's make this card and uh, now we have to integrate this kind of map okay so let us start with one row simple row so inside card i am designing one more row and calling column 8 inch okay and the 4 inch will be for the form okay so left for so guys now let's go to google maps uh, google maps <coughs> excuse me so click on the google maps dot com and uh, here is the map so let's type by Ruti. so you can just hit enter and get the map location okay or else hit some famous places 
okay done so guys now what we have to do is that we will share this address okay so let's click on share click on embedded maps so the map design comes over here and then you can just copy this html okay iframe tag so copy this and get back to your website and get back to your code and i'm going to paste it over here that's it paste now if you want to set the height 450 let it be 450 and the width will be 100 percent okay that's it no more changes in this finish go back set control r then you can see the map over here done so if you want to make the height less you can make it less more lesser okay so it's now what i'm going to do is that i'll design a form in this one simple form like this okay so let's get started with it heading then all input tags one text area and one button seven that's it so guys um let's get back so before that form designing i will show you form designing using getbootstrap.com so hit enter get bootstrap let me close this maps let's go to documentation so inside documentation there is on search bar let's type input and let's click on input okay so there are multiple things of text boxes so we don't need this one but we can take from here forms okay so inside components you can see forms so let's check with fonts I close this forms this is the text box and the label right guys so i'm going to just copy this and uh, start with this okay so let's copy and then get back paste it over here control v okay don't get confused guys i'll just show you it's in very simple so um, let me arrange this first done okay so now i don't need this unwanted things just remove this so you can see it over here this is the email address so instead of email address we need full name email address phone number then services we need email so let us keep email so before that we need full name full name and input text will be text input type will be text and we don't need id so just remove that id we know did we don't need all these things so just remove the unwanted things so you can use a placeholder over here i will tell you okay so let us set this we don't require password so instead of password we can keep phone number done so let's make this text and remove this id we don't need these things check me out things so just remove this and now you can set one more thing that is text area so you can set message okay before that we will add one more thing called subject okay so subject or the services whatever you want to mention you can mention it so uh, instead in message we don't need this input okay instead of that we need text area right so let's remove this let's type text area okay so we, need, we don't need many things from this so we just remove this and we will take the rows not 10 we will keep 5 and uh, let's give a design for this so that is class and the class name is form control okay for the designing purpose save this and this is a button simple button that is button primary save and now guys let us see the output for this 
So, before seeing the output we will set one heading h4 tag we will give get in touch ok. Let us go back go back to our website reload the page. So, get in touch it is coming fine ok, but we need this in one card ok guys. So, let us keep that in one card. So, before that I am just going to close this form tag and form here is the form. So, before that let us draw down one card and let us cut this control x and paste below the form right that is it. Now, we have to set one card body card body that is bootstrap thing. So, I am going to cut this and paste it above it ok that is it oops sorry ok save it and let us get back control R again see guys. So, the design changes over here now. So, we know that uh, there are some extra lines extra padding. So, you can just remove it by editing it ok and we know that we do not need this big. So, you can keep it as normal 4 inch ok 4 rows you can set this 4 and uh, let us give control R. So, you can set it ok. If you do not need you can just remove this labels as we did not mention over here ok. So, instead of that we have given inside the placeholder. So, let us remove and give into the placeholder. So, let us take out that full name and type the placeholder placeholder is equal to full name P L A C E ok placeholder and remove the label right full name. So, let us cut this and type placeholder is equal to email address remove it phone number cut placeholder is equal to phone number remove it cut and placeholder is equal to subject remove it and final one placeholder is equal to type your message ok. Guys make do make sure that you do not have any space in this ok text area. If you have any space your placeholder will not be seen ok. So, let us remove this save it and let us reload the page and see here guys now it is looking perfect ok. So, the map is also getting matched and here also it is getting matched and let us make this as the button as full ok. So, let us get back and uh, instead of you can add button block ok. Let us rename add send message done and let us load it. So, here is the guys ok. 